found this article on one of my browsers. Americans are leaving the church in droves, and these scholars are going to explain why. The Christian Nationalist Movement... Wait, that's a thing? Well, they won't get far, because the N-word's a bad word. And not that N-word, the nationalist N-word, because nationalism is bad. Movement is not only hoping to coerce Americans into becoming more religious, it is also hoping they will embrace the severe and extreme form of Christianity favored by far-right evangelicals. Now, when they say extreme, do they mean obeying the Bible to the key? Letter? Or something else? I wouldn't know. I'm not much of a Christian person. If anything, I'd say I'm more along the lines of a pagan. Anywho, according to the new Jim Davis Michelle Graham book, The Great Dechurching, who's leaving, why are they going, and what will it take to bring them back? The opposite is happening. The United States on the whole, David and Graham reported, is becoming less church-going. Religion News, Bob Simitani, probably said the name wrong, in an article published on September 7th, points out that Davis and Graham offer plenty of data to back up their deterching argument. The deterching study eventually yielded profiles of different kinds of deterched Americans, cultural Christians who attended church in the past but had little knowledge about the Christian faith, mainstream evangelicals, a group of mostly younger dropouts, evangelicals, an older group who had often been harmed by churches and other Christian institutions. Yeah, the church heads, they have done a lot of bad stuff, and some of it's relatively recent, too. It's one of the reasons why I consider myself a pagan. De-churched BIPOCs, you know, people of color, I suppose. Americans who were overwhelmingly, yep, black and male, and de-churched mainline Protestants and Catholics who had much in common despite their theological differences. However, according to the book, many de-churched Americans might return to churches if they found a stable and healthy congregation. Okay, so... In my opinion, the reason why lots of males are leaving the church, well, you got your feminist indoctrination, you got your LGBT whatever indoctrination. Here's an example. Look at all these churches flying the LGBT flag. I think one of them's a Catholic school, so that's pretty bad. Religion itself is an ideology, and now it's tying itself to another ideology that's kind of counter to, you know, the church's ideology, if you think about it. And this main picture here, United Methodists lose one-fifth of U.S. churches in schism driven by growing defiance of LGBTQ bans. So I guess they're losing churches because some people are banning LGBTQ stuff. Yeah, the churches should have never have tried to uh, align themselves with another ideology. It's just asking for trouble. Because some people like the LGBTQ whatever. Some people like the feminist movement. But some people don't. And that's where you get your schism and or loss of attendance. You have a church that flies the rainbow flag and lectures men on their patriarchy. Why would men go to that church? And then they have to try to find another church which isn't a ally of certain groups. Well, anyway, I just saw this article and I thought to myself, hey, you know what? There's an easier explanation for why people aren't going to churches. Because of all the intrusive feminism and LGBT whatever. Anyway, take care out there in clown world.